Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back once more to One Hour Limit Locked, the third season, the 72nd episode. We are going to be doing a little more training today. It's boring, I know, but this is the last day of training. In fact, we're not even going to do the full day of training. We are going to do like half a day of training or something. Well, not even that, like 15 minutes. We gotta get this range level. We got 30k XP to get, and that is all. That was a regular range pot, not a divine. Okay, whatever. And then the rest of the day, I don't really have a plan other than do a couple clues that we have in the bank, and you know, make sure we're stocked up on all our resources and things that we need for the tombs, and that we're on the ancient spell books. So just sort of be chilling after that. No pressure. Man, as if the kill's almost done and I've only just finished my intro spiel. These kills are so quick. Oh, a spine! What a lovely way to start the day. That is gonna speed up our training. Let's just go cash it straight in. It's been a while since he gave us one. Very nice to see. Put that straight onto our ranged. Because as a reminder, I'm not bothering with the extra defense levels. I am just going with the ranged ones. There's a screamer for a 99 because I got one ping in with the bone short, but this will possibly be the least efficient day of one hour limit locked ever because I have know I've got loads of time to spare because I don't really have any other way to positively prepare. Unless I made a shit ton of money, there's no way that I could really benefit the run at this point. Like if we had actual millions, we could buy different gear upgrades potentially, but without actual millions it doesn't really matter which is why i'm like yeah i'll do the clues because there's a pair of ranger boots in there that's 40 mil or whatever the fuck they're priced at 30 inch and a hard clue but yeah i'm not actually expecting anything we do after scurrious to benefit us really so it should be a nice chill completely inefficient day later Almost there, couple more kills, and we can hopefully say goodbye to the Rat King forever. There is a slim chance we'll be back here if we still can't crack raids, and I think defense levels are gonna help, but I'm praying that today is the last time we are in this sewer. Oh, we're so close. 1,600 XP to go. And there is the 80th range level on our account. Our first level 80, I believe. Yeah, I don't think we have any others there doing a quick check. Yeah, that is our highest level on the account. We have done a lot of range training. They're not since season one, really, until the, these last few days. We did a lot in season one. 430 kills, nice round number there on the scurry. Hopefully that is all we do. And we never have to kill my man again. He's been very kind to us, but 430 kills is enough for one account or even for one lifetime, to be honest. I think I'm just going to go and do a little bit of a farm run and maybe do clues at the same time. I need to get them so I can remind myself what they were. Okay. Uh, this will the wizards be CKP. Okay, both really easy steps. So I'm just gonna grab some water runes and a dueling ring and cash stack so we can get some staffs as well. Not staffs, cash <laughs> coins. Okay, and then yeah, I guess we'll start with the clue steps. Seeing as they're both just next to fairy rings, south of the Iowolf camp. Uh, we could buy a telly to get there. 
We have to kill a Sarodom and Wizard though, so we would need a little bit of gear. Even if it's just a DDS. But we have to kill a wizard now. Good job on a savage with a staff. Guy's doing the same clue as me. Miscellanea. CIP. Okay, I guess I'll chase this down. Fuck that tree. Ice Mountain west of Edgeville. Okay, I'll do that after the farming. Oh, I'm so used to a six second timer using this bird because of dead man. What is that format doing to me? It's ruining my brain. I got killed for a lot last night in the Tombs of a Masket Bank. That was not fun. I literally was like, okay, I'm gonna... I'm, I was trying to pre-pot on my way through. I was already geared up. I was literally like stopping at the bank for my pre-pots and then going straight in. And in that time, some prick found me and put an end to me. Took my full guffins and my black dehyde and I think I bought mystics for it. Glad I didn't take my arrows. That was in the safe. What am I doing? Just nattering and getting distracted. It's okay. We can be inefficient. We've got 37 minutes with no strict goal. <laughs> this is actually the most chill session I've ever had. A calm before the storm. All right, herbs collected. We are gonna get our staffs. I tail it to the Grand Exchange. What do we want from these clues? We wanted a Iowith, and then we want a combat bracelet, a glory. Another glory? I guess we don't need a glory. We can take a fury. Just some shit to kill a uh, Sarah Wizard. I guess ranged will be better, but. Oh well. Is there anything else needed? I don't think there is. Okay. Edgeville is monastery. Shabrostam. And not brought my farming tools. Hey, casket. Okay, so south of the Iowa camp. Didn't bring a potion either. Oh no, I can't do it. I haven't done regicide. I thought we did regicide, but I decided not to, didn't I? Oh no. Okay, there goes the hard clue. And there goes the medium clue. I guess I'll keep that and sell it. All right, back to the GE. Let's make sure we are stocked up on everything that we might need for raids. Right, we've got plenty of runes there. How about charges and things? Well, 1903, I think that's plenty. And 1285 darts, that is also plenty. We've got 750 ruby bolts still, like a thousand casts of this. I think. A thousand? Yeah, we, we're good. Oh, anti-venoms. How are we doing on bruise and re- bruise and restores are okay. But anti-venoms and maybe super combat. What was it anti-venom plus that I was having? It was. Okay, that's enough for a few more runs at the very least. Just stock up on some more brews as well. Get like ten more. And then I guess we can sell the stuff that I bought. This and this. Anything else we don't really need? Just grab it all. I forgot we had that thread. Bank's looking pretty clean. All right, there was something I wanted to check actually. So if we go for a Nezzy Helm, I might have checked this before, but I wanted to double check. Okay, we get extra ranged accuracy plus eight versus prayer and a lot better defenses. Melee strength's the same on both. Don't think that's really worth it for the plus eight ranged accuracy. That's definitely not worth. Is it worth? Worth some magic accuracy as well, which would take us a little down in that regard. Honestly, folks, I feel like we're all set. There's not really much more I can do. I mean, I need to go put myself on Ancients. We can do that. But yeah, we've kind of just got the rest of the day to chill. Maybe I'll do, go do a couple LMS games. That's somewhat random, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything that will actually be profitable for our account. Like, we're not going to get any levels, so it seems kind of silly. I suppose we could potentially get a strength level. Do I do that just because it's more efficient, or do I go do LMS because for some reason I kind of feel like it? Hmm. I could probably get 70 on strength, couldn't I? 23k is not that much. Right, how do I get to Varrock then? Guess Ring of Wealth. <laughs> I hate that like 20 minutes after saying I hope we never have to kill Scurry again, I'm already going back to fucking Scurry. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me, people? 
I could just enjoy the next 20 minutes just losing some LMS games to randoms who are sweaty. But I know I can probably get this level and it'll probably only make a very, very marginal difference, but oh well. Didn't bring a DDS either. I knew I was forgetting someone. And I'm on the wrong style. Who knows, maybe we get another medium clue to chase down. Oh, I can't alk the rune square! Ooh, I think we're all just scared there. There it is, pretty much bang on. Jeez. Alright, well, there's nothing much else that I could possibly do now with today that would prepare us more for raids. So I'm just going to make my way over there, get geared up, and then log out a little early today, folks. We are about as prepped as we could be. Some extra defense levels would have been nice, but ultimately it'd take us another few days and I just want to get back to trying again. I'm hoping that with the four extra range levels we've gained, our accuracy during that final portion of Wardens and during the rest of the tombs will be just that little bit improved enough to carry us through it. We did also get a hit points level or maybe two and a prayer level which puts us in a new restoration bracket for potions. So both of those nice little benefits to have as well. The main focus of course is that range training though that we have been doing for the past few days. But yeah, it's good to be back here again, not being PK'd on Dead Man and be preparing to go back into another raid with all the same invocations as before. I think I'm pretty happy with the, the invocation setup. Just just that very final portion of Wardens on 150 level. We were struggling to hit consistently. Fingers crossed that won't be the case anymore and we can get this one done in just one more run. Who knows, we'll have to find out tomorrow. So many supplies. In fact, we were doing it the other way around, weren't we? So we'll be pre-potting with these and then get some manta rays, try not to forget them. I'm pretty sure I did that once. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today, folks. The clock has stopped. We are logging out tomorrow. Could be the last episode. I've said it a few times now. Hopefully it actually is this time for real. You'll have to find out tomorrow with the rest of us. Until then, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you stay tuned for that potential final episode and all the content I have planned after that. As always, it's been a pleasure. Don't forget to look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another and I'll see you on the next one.